Some riders departed even before sunup as a way to beat the heat while riding through the hills of western Iowa. Morning! For Trooper Doug Cuts, this is his seventh season of directing Ragbri through various intersections along the route. They need to communicate with each other when they're going to pull off the side, they're going to turn. Cuts says this is a nice change from investigating accidents and writing speeding tickets. You get to the point they know who we are, they know us by name, and they know what to do. The midday stop was in Carson, Iowa. This was the first ever visit by Ragbri to this community. Here, water was a popular stop. We're on Rag Bryce map where the water drop. Another place to keep cool was the Wander Inn Cafe. We had a really busy breakfast. It started about quarter to six. Along Rag Bry, there's no end to the people you can meet, like this team from the Air Force based in San Antonio, Texas. Well, we don't actually sign them up here. We just try to spark an interest. Like, for instance, one, yesterday we had an individual that was interested in joining the Air Force, and he pretty much knew what he wanted to do, so it made it easier for us. And then there's the Banana Man. Mike Knox of Huxley. I wore the banana suit one year and uh, when, when people laughed at it, I felt better when they were laughing because I couldn't keep up with anybody. Banana on! Banana on! This year, Knox fashioned a bike to go with his costume. Along Ragbri 2011, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.